Okay, welcome back to this tutorial and where we left it off last time. I know it was quite a while ago, but um, I am now optimising the way that I upload these to YouTube and I'm just carrying on doing, uh, trying to finish the project and just using a, a splitting software, splitting the files uh, to put up on YouTube in sections. So um, I should be putting them up a, a lot quicker now. It saves me rushing to do it within 10 minutes. I can take my time and split it all and put it in there. Not that you need to know that, but uh, that's why I've been delayed with this. Plus, it was Christmas and New Year. Right, okay. Now, where we left it last time is we put our planar map on this and we checked our UVs out. Now, if we go into the uh, UV editor, so if you go to... Um, window and then go down to UV texture editor you'll see in there now if you've got the checker map in place just go to this little display image on and off and just turn it off and you'll see that we've actually got our gun in there so if I now just right click and select UVs and then select it all I know that I've got to make these rectangles that are showing on the image and this is why it's good to have two displays because you can check the UV editor in the other display and not mess things around. But anyway, I've selected the UVs across here. Now, if I now go to press the R on my keyboard, I know that I've got to scale it down. So as I'm scaling it down, you can see that the squares coming square, which is great. And that's kind of perfect, I think. So I'll just minimise this, just check that over. That's all good. Right, but we've still got warping along the top and the barrel's not particularly very good. So we're gonna break these away. Break these all away from each other. And so what I want you to do is right hand click and go to face, and then I want you to select this face. Basically all the flat faces and make sure that they're all selected on the other side as well. Well, I could have done this in the side view and it would have selected straight through. So that's basically what, what I intend to do is do a planar mapping in the Z axis and it will create those as separate pieces. But you'll see it when I do it. So now I want to go to create UVs, go to play the map and check the option box there, make sure it's in the Z axis and project. And now we've separated those out. You can't really see it at the moment, but they're separated out. Some modelers actually split, some people that are, are doing these models actually split the model in half and only work on one side and then join it up at the end, um, taking in characteristics. But I don't think we really need to for this. Um, on the next model, I'll be doing that. So you'll be seeing that. In action so if we now bring up the UV editor again you'll now see that it's actually in here and the barrel is missing because I've only UV'd the sections that I selected so now what I want you to do is right hand click go to UV select across it and then I want you to use the W on your keyboard to move or the move tool and move it down out of the way then I want you to zoom out a little bit and I want you to click and select one of the UVs and then go up to select shell and then I want you to move that now you might be like what's going on here well that's that's one side and that's the other side we will have to flip them um, I can see if I check in there that this is actually the correct side so I'm actually going to need to flip the other view which is this one and you can do that by going up to here and flip selected UVs in the U direction which will do that and that's fine so what I'll do is I'll put these there and I'll move them across now we're going to carry on doing this with other parts so now what I want you to do is go minimize this again come in here take all the top sections go to face go to the bottom section and on the bottom of the trigger there and on the bottom there 
I'm not going to do the barrel because the barrel is a cylinder and we'll be tackling that at the end. So that's both of those selected. And now if I do a in the y direction because it's downwards so y up z back on itself and x is horizontal so it's in the y direction i'm going to create uvs planar map and put it in the y direction and project it now if we look at the top look at that lovely squares which is what we want and now i'm going to go back into the uv editor right hand click go to uv select across it Go back one, UVs, select across it, and now W key, move these down. Now this is obviously the base. If you click in here and select a UV, you can see where they line up. So I'm going to select there, and then select shell see that's the top section so that's quite good so put that up there that's obviously the trigger area as you can see it is the trigger area and this is this part of it along there so that's all quite nice that's all quite good but for this section what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it all and I'm going to drag it below the gun because it is below the gun so I'm going to put it in there that's the top section of the gun so I'm going to put it on the top section so that's all good right now we've just got to project on the x-axis and then we'll tackle the cylinder well right here we got the faces so I'm going to select the faces out Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to to see them, but you get the idea. And I'm spinning it backwards because what I want to do is I want the back of the gun. Um, it's actually at a slight angle, but I don't think that's going to matter. So I'm still going to project it on the X. That bit I'm going to project separately because it is at much more of an angle. So just double check that all that's in position. So we're going to come along on the X axis. So create plane on mapping, X axis and project. Now you can already see that it's all looking a lot better. Cylinders way up, but we're going to correct that later. So UV editor again, if you've accidentally closed it, remember that you need to go to um, window and then down to UV editor. So there we go, UVs again, selecting over those. And I'm going to 